Hey, what's up beautiful family? Hope y'all are having a good afternoon. So I um, wanted to come on here and just chat with y'all for a minute. I had just left um, our local Walmart and I just got curious. I decided to walk over to the, the baby formula aisle to see if our shelves were indeed wiped out. And sure enough, they were. Um, we know that there is a baby formula shortage uh, and I've been seeing a lot of posts about it, a lot of pictures. And so, you know, when I walked over to ours, you know, it was about, I would say, I'd say 99% just wiped clean. And it really was just a heartbreaking sight to see. Uh, my heart really just breaks and is very grieved for the mothers and the fathers of children who are reliant on this formula and you know there's a lot of people wondering well, well why is there a shortage of this baby formula and the the most accurate answer that i can give you is that guys we know that the lord has temporarily allowed satan to be the ruler of this world if you will and we know that this world is run right run by satan essentially so that is what that means right and so he's unfortunately coming after the children but what i have to say to that is but god um i, I really just believe that it goes to show how close we are to going home uh I, you know i do i believe that the lord is just going to sit back and allow this to happen to the children absolutely not um again i really just think this goes to show that we are in the final seconds okay of these last days and i really just wanted to come on here and kind of rally y'all together um we really in this moment just need to pray over parents right now that have children that um are worried about if they're going to be able to feed their their children or not you know there's a there's a lot a lot of people that rely on this formula and unf unfortunately um, many mothers for whatever reason um, can't breastfeed now i know that's a big uh you know topic there and people have their differences of opinions but at the end of the day you know the facts are are that a lot of parents rely on this formula and it really just breaks my heart to know that there are many of these parents that are going into these stores right now and are wondering again am i going to be, be able to feed my child and you know now there's reports coming out that there are babies that are now being hospitalized because because of the lack thereof and having to substitute with other things and it making them sick and so um, if you're a mother or a father watching this right now with a baby and you are you, you're worried and you're upset, I just want you to know that I love you. Um, you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers, and I'm just asking the body of Christ right now to just pray over all of those with children right now, relying on this formula, that God will just grant them peace and understanding um, and comfort uh, in these moments, and that He... Um, makes a way for some type of solution and we know that if you know if you belong to Christ he is going to make a way we know that he is a way maker and so I just want you whoever you are watching this um, if you were someone again to just trust in God okay with yourself and with your family with your with your babies um, and know that if you belong to Christ you are in his hands and that he's got you and again you, that you can trust him um, so yeah i just wanted to come on here and, and and share um that with you guys i just really felt it in my heart that i ask for prayers right i know a lot of y'all are praying over um over these these parents and these children right now and i know that it's it's just heartbreaking it really is and I, i'm a mother and i i cannot even imagine or like, i can't even fathom just the thought of what that would be like to walk into to a store and not be able to get what I need off of the shelf for my child. So, um, I also wanted to share with you guys just I, when I was in there, okay, I, I don't like Walmart as it is, but when I was in there, I really was just sensing in my spirit, just this overwhelming feeling, um, of just, you know, I, I know we always hear the the scripture in the in the in the word um the love of many shall grow cold and 
I've always kind of thought of that scripture to mean, you know, just the love of many towards others, right? To grow cold, just not loving others, right? But I just kept hearing that verse in my spirit as I was kind of walking around and passing all these people. And, you know, it just seems like people are just, you know, it's every man for themselves and it's just like fast paced and nobody's really there, you know, and you know, seeing the shelves so empty, not only the formula, but you know, the meats and there's so many things that are, we're seeing shortages of. And, you know, as I was just like passing these aisles and seeing the spoiled meats that were kind of out and, and things just kind of, um, kind of strewed everywhere. I just was hearing that verse again in my, in my, in my spirit, the love of many shall grow cold. And we know this is something to be true in the end days. And it was just very crazy that I, that I was hearing that as I was kind of just walking through this store because I was just sensing that like people just take no pride in the things that they do anymore. There's no care for others behind what they are doing. And I don't know, guys, I'm really just sensing that we're in the final seconds. We really, really are. And the more that we see... Um, I know it's tough, right? And the things that we are seeing, the gas prices, I mean, the list literally goes on and on and on. It really is getting bad. But remember, okay, for us to be in the end days and for us to be so close to the rapture of the church, these things will have to happen. And so even though it may seem scary, okay, those of us that belong to Christ can rejoice in these things as again as scary as they may be as unsettling as they may be okay we can count these things joy because we know when we see these things look up for our redemption draws nigh okay so y'all just hang in there keep your eyes on christ because i'm telling you the trumpet is going to sound in our lifetime i'm telling you our father is coming for us and we are soon going to meet him in the clouds. Okay. So I love y'all so much. I have got to get going. I just wanted to share again, those couple thoughts, please keep these, these children and these mothers and these fathers in your prayers. There's so much power in your prayers. And, um, again, y'all hang in there. Jesus is coming. All right. I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon.